I met Alex for the first time when we were about 12 in travel ball. Our whole team was like so intimidated by her at the time. I had talked to her and I was like, she could not hurt a fly. So I was like, guys, it's okay. She's not, she's probably the nicest person that y'all will ever meet. She always stood out. She, she was the one who was throwing the, the best game. She was a rare, a rare athlete, a kid that can dominate in the circle. Impressive softball player, very talented, fast, strong, powerful, and could pitch. Just, she was a no-brainer no in the recruiting process. I remember on Christmas Day, I, I texted her, just, you know, Merry Christmas, and, uh, and she broke the news in, in Alex's way. I remember just being in the hospital and we really didn't know towards the end of the time being in the hospital, but I just remember my dad telling me that this wasn't gonna stop me and that I could do just whatever I wanted to do. The softball is on the back burner. It's how can we get Alex healthy? How can she resume? How can she win this thing? You know, carry on, you know, a positive uh, mindset and, and the softball will come, but it was about her health, her as an individual more than anything else. If you didn't know that she had ovarian cancer or is battling cancer, you would never be able to tell. She has a tremendous smile on her face. She gets after it. It's heart wrenching because you know she wants to play softball. You know what she wants and you can see that. Uh, but at the same time, she's so brave and, and handles, handles it with such grace. If I had treatment, I would go to treatment, and then as long as I felt okay, I would go to practice. And um, it was just kind of, it was kind of difficult at first seeing how sick I was going to be and then going to practice, but after I got done with treatment, all I wanted to be, all I wanted to do was be out there with my team. When I was first diagnosed, like, all I really thought about was if I was going to be able to play anymore and how it was going to affect my daily life. But once I kind of figured out that it was kind of up to me, it was just great just kind of getting to do what I wanted to do and just getting to inspire people along the way. She's used this platform as an opportunity. It has not been a crutch. It has not been a disability. She has, I, you know, it just says she's an amazing young lady. softball community through this this fight and awareness has reached out and embraced Alex embraced Mississippi State softball she's touched lives that are in all of these programs and people want to support her people want her want to do something for her I think it shows her how much like reassures her how much people have her back and how strong the community is at Mississippi State and all through Starkville really and now all through the SEC and even the NCAA. It just, I feel like it really just fills her bucket up and everyone else that's fighting because they like truly know no one fights alone. I don't regret any of it. I don't regret having to go through chemo or losing my hair or any of it. Um, I guess looking back all I can think about is how much I've put an impact on people and their lives and um, how much I've realized, like, how much support I have through everything, no matter what it is. You know, I don't know if it's as much as me helping her, it's as much as her helping me and the people around us. She's extremely brave, and her passion for life um, is hard to explain, hard to put in words. Her impact is lifelong. She's um, amazing young lady and everybody knows it. Um, my message would be just to keep fighting and just keep pushing every single day. Don't let anything slow you down and whether it's um, cancer or just some kind of disease, just don't let anything slow you down and just have um, a great life that you plan to have and don't let anything stop you from that.